our leaves, they've probably dried by now. At this point, you can play. So, um, golden bronze, this beautiful gold is absolutely gorgeous. Got that golden tint to it. All these different colors. I don't think we need any more red on here, but we can certainly put that on. You add a lot, and they actually look like the silk leaves that you get in the stores. But um, we'll start with the Aztec gold. I think that's what that is. Yep, Aztec gold. And when you just, just brush it on ever so lightly, it really takes color well. See? Very beautiful. Just that little, especially when you brush it on yellow. Very pretty. Get carried away. And then here's the pumpkin. All these colors, all these fall colors, and the luster dusts are really pretty colors. Um, and then the golden bronze, it's this one. I got these in the wrong lids, but that's okay. There you can see the golden bronze. And you know, it's no big deal if you get like too much on there. Let's go over it with something else. I could even go over that with the claret to hide it, or the copper. Where's the copper? Yeah, that's kind of a coppery color. Look at that. See, make it more coppery in the center. I mean, wherever you want. And then, like I said, I like the bling. So, I definitely like adding the gold colors to it. And I actually normally will use a little bit. It does stick, especially if you do it when they're still a little wet. I mean, this glitter sticks to everything, but I actually have been known to dampen my brush and put it on and it'll, it sticks. It's really pretty. But you gotta be really careful because again, it's water, so be careful because you get too much on there and you'll melt your leaf. So be careful. But you can just add little bits here and there. I'd use it very, very sparingly though, because um, again, it's not really, it's not really edible. So it uh, looks like we need to rake in here. <laughs> looks like we had a tree, a couple trees fall. Um, all that's left now is to put them on the cake in the way that you want them. Now you can decide if you want to really roll up some um, of the chocolate and make branches out of it. That's okay. You know, I mean, it doesn't really matter how it, how it goes. You can t attach the rice paper with piping gel or with um, buttercream or royal icing. It should all work just fine on here. And the leaves, when I attached them to the cake, they didn't break down. This is rolled, like I said, it's unrolled buttercream and they didn't break down at all. But you could certainly, um, I'm pretty sure that uh, this will go, these can go in the refrigerator, but it all depends on the humidity in your refrigerator. So if you can, it would be best just to have the cake refrigerated, let it come to room temperature and then pop these suckers on. There is uh, not much, not that much to putting them on really. It's just a little bit of piping gel and there you go, there you have it, you know. So we'll just go ahead and start popping these on and I kind of need to face myself a little bit. Um, you can start from the top and work your way down to overlap or the other way around. Start from the bottom and work up and overlap that way. You know, I'm gonna, I want to, I'm gonna probably start from the bottom and go up because I like it overlapping that way. Fell off the cake. I think you have. Fall rice paper leaf cake.